How's everybody doing? Uh, oh, my name's Dante. Uh, it's spelled all fucked up, though. Uh, it's D-U-A-N-T-E. So I get everything from Duante to Duant. I even get Dwayne once in a while, like the T silent and shit. <laughs> Worst part for me, though, is when I go to the doctor's office or new job, people really have the balls to ask me if I spelled my name right. <laughs> but I didn't graduate kindergarten and shit, right? <laughs> But I figured out my name's too ethnic for my resume. Um, I've got a master's degree, and the only calls I get for jobs are like liquor store manager, garbage man, security. So I decided to go by my middle name, right? It's Edward. Yeah, calls got way better. I got calls for like financials, <laughs> management, IT. Uh, there's one problem, though. I get to the interview. They're looking for Edward. They got a Duante, if you know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> and I know a lot of white people think we're the only ones with fucked up names. That's not true. Uh, I went to the doctor's office. I read the girl's name tag. It was G-A-N-E-L-L. -L. And I told her, I see Ira thinking, that's a beautiful way to spell Janelle, right? And she was like, no, sir. My name's Gainel. <laughs> Yeah, like Siraj. <laughs> I said anal with a G. And she's like, that's inappropriate. <laughs> I was like, bitch, I'm just trying to remember your name. Shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then being mixed is weird, too. Uh, people mistake my culture all the time. I had a lady come up to me last week, and she goes, aren't you one of those Samoas? And I was like, no, ma'am. I'm not a Girl Scout cookie. <laughs> And if I am a cultural cookie, ma'am, I'm an Oreo. Get it right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Double <laughs> stuff thanks to COVID. Anybody else know what I'm talking about, right? But I think the worst part about being mixed is, uh, you ever been called the wrong racial slur? Yeah. Wrong <laughs> signs with, oh, shit. Yeah. I remember the first time I was called nigga, right? It was by my mom. We were at a barbecue. I was like, who brought this white lady? You know what I'm saying? She must be the one who brought the potato salad with the raisins in it. Then I had a whisper at her, I'll meet you around back when the party's over. <laughs> and I did, even worse than that, I did my 23 and me to figure out what I was. And uh, it's been fucking with my personal identity. But I gotta pause there for a second. Because I'm tired of these young white girls doing their 23 and me. Yeah. I don't want to hear about how you're 5% black and you got a big ass and shit, you know what I mean, and you know how to dance. <laughs> I'm actually kind of jealous. Iris knows what I'm talking about because I don't know how to dance. My black didn't kick in. But don't worry, ladies. My white did. I got good credit. <laughs> I mean, the first Dante ever. You can put the car in my name. Yeah, yeah. Ah. But it's funny. I got my results back, and... uh. They've been fucking with my personal identity uh, this whole time. I was thought I was an angry black guy. Come to find out I'm 60% white. Yeah, guess that means I'm an angry white guy and shit, right? Fucked up part, I try to go to one of their meetings, Ira. Yeah, they wouldn't let me in. I was like, how did you guys know? I had my sheet on and everything, you know what I mean? <laughs> There's a guy talking about, he didn't use the hard R when we did the pledge. Another guy was like, there's no T and Dwayne, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny, I've had all kinds of jobs. Um, I remember I was working at UPS the other day, a couple years back, and I got a little risque one day. I pulled up to the lady's house, and she was like, you got a big package for me? And I was like, yes, ma'am. <laughs> she's like can I get you to bring that to the back door I was like if that's how you like it <laughs> and then she was like actually I got this little cubby hole in the front I want you to squeeze it in I was like ma'am I'm brown won't fit <laughs> and then you know I tried to work at a ramen shop that shit sucked because I got heckled by a little kid one day Came in the place. He was like, you speak Japanese? I was like, no. 
He said, what are you doing working at a Japanese restaurant? You little bastard. Then I thought about it. I was like, I can't just work at Popeye's and Carl's Jr. everywhere I go, right? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the hardest part about the job is people always wanted to ask me what was my favorite dish. Being black, I didn't want to tell them. Yeah. It was the fried chicken. And even worse than that, when people would be surprised the fried chicken was good, I get a little pissed off because I, my thought is, if the black guy tells you to try the fried chicken, guess what? You try the fried chicken, right, shit? <laughs> I was like, yeah. If I tell you to try some fry bread, you better try the fry bread, right, shit? <laughs> but it's funny, you know. Uh, I tried to be a teacher, and uh, I was an IT teacher for a while, but I don't quite fit the description. So my first week of class, my students would heckle me. They'd say shit like the floor has been swept, the garbage has been taken out. But don't worry, found a way to get back at them. Since I have a master's degree, I tell all my white students to call me master. <laughs> I knew I was gonna spit out a drink. I should have warned you, right? <laughs> That's your black history joke of the month. A little late, just like us, right? <laughs> <laughs> don't worry for all the white people watching and your assholes clinched up and you didn't like that I'm going to give you a little history lesson we didn't like it either okay I was over there dying no unmute I want to hear the laughter I'm even just <laughs> I was a pretty good college teacher so I'd always get that same question people want to know why I don't teach like high school or middle school or elementary school and Ira, there's one reason. Yeah, it's quite simple. I like to fuck my students, and that's kind of frowned upon at those other institutions. <laughs> uh, you guys are mad at me? They're community college students. They need extra credit to graduate. Fuck you guys. Shit. Yeah, I'm in Washington. Hey, you can get a permission slip for that, okay? <laughs> But it's funny, uh, I'm not really made for an office job. Yeah, <laughs> if you can't tell. Uh, everybody in Seattle's all passive aggressive. And uh, I'm more like aggressive aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> like I won't do a subliminal Facebook post or email the boss. I'll just catch by the Keurig and punch it in the throat. <laughs> and then on top of that, you always get a project with somebody you hate. Last month, I got a project with Bob. Bob's a racist. Bob hates me. I hate Bob. Fuck Bob, right? Yeah. Somebody was like, well, what are you going to do about that project? I was like, I'm not doing shit. They're like, you're not worried about getting fired? I was like, no. I'm the affirmative action hire. Bob better figure that shit out, right? <laughs> <laughs> That might be part of why Bob's mad. Totally different qualifications. <laughs> fucking Bay, right? right Bob, shit. But I think the hardest part about working an office job as a minority is you always do one of those office potlucks. And I hate that shit. Because you guys always try to make an ethnic dish for me. And I'm like, I don't do that shit to you guys. I don't bring green bean casserole or stovetop stuffing to the event, right? <laughs> but the worst part is the day of the event I'll have someone like Sarah come up to me and she'll be like you gotta try these greens yeah I bet you they're better than your mom's and I'm like bitch that's disrespectful yeah my mom's white <laughs> Ira's the only one who knows about cultural cooking she's like yeah in South Carolina we didn't get green I thought that was spinach. That's the white in me coming out. White people are like, is that spinach? <laughs> I think spinach. It's not kale, bitch. It's collard greens, right? But it's funny, you know, at my last office job, I decided to join the lady gang at the office, right? Hang out with ladies. I got tired of the old guys club because they're mostly racist and white anyways, right? So I went up to Megan and she's like, you know, we got a pledge week for lady gang. I was like, bitch, I was in a frat. Let's do this, right? <laughs> so I come in Monday, and she looks at me, and she goes, grab your Starbucks cup, bitch. 
meet me at the car. Ooh. We get to her car. She goes up. Champagne and orange juice, bitches! Mimosa Monday! <laughs> now listen, I don't really drink, right? So I come in Tuesday a little hungover, and I'm like, I don't know if I can do this again. And she goes, don't worry. Meet my friend Jose! It's the game on Tuesday! Yeah. <laughs> now I'm getting used to this, right? So I come in Wednesday, and I was like, okay, okay, okay. What is it, white girl wasted Wednesdays? What are you gonna do, drink white claws? She goes, no, our body's a temple. We drink water on Wednesdays. <laughs> <laughs> so I come in Thursday, I go, what is it, thirsty Thursdays? She goes, no, bitch, we gotta get some work done. But don't worry, tomorrow's Friday. Fireball, motherfucker! <laughs> I, didn't made it. I didn't made it through the whole week of Wednesdays, right? So I come in Monday, and I see Bob. I give him a little smack on the ass, like Iris said. He goes, oh, that's inappropriate. And I said, yeah, I know. But you did that to Ira last week. And she's part of Lady Gang. You fuck with them, you fuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Best part is, guys hate me. The white elephant's great. The ladies treat me wonderfully. One question, though. Why did I get a candle that smells like Gwyneth Paltrow's pussy? You know what I mean? Like, who thought of that? <laughs> I don't think any of you guys want to see a cucumber candle with a little extra foreskin on it, do you? <laughs> That's the third time I ever spit out a drink during my set. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, like, you know what you had to bet? You want to puke at the bar, but you can't puke your That's <laughs> I think we just became best friends. <laughs> But it's funny to me because <laughs> I'm actually what you call a jock nerd. <clears throat> and that means in high school, not only was I a football captain, but I was also a peer mediator. So that means if I bullied you for your lunch money, we had to have a talk about why you didn't bring me enough. <laughs> so Raj, that, that hit personal. That's the first time. He's, whoa, fuck you, buddy. I will not give you my money. <laughs> This is bullshit. I want all my curry. I know. I got a lot of Indians in Seattle. <laughs> but the best part is, I actually won biggest brown noser. And I went to an all white high school. Yeah. Fuck you, Ira. I don't know if they're fucking <laughs> me. A <or> racist. <laughs> right? And then on top of that, I'm from West Seattle, which is a crip neighborhood. And I like to keep it gangster in everything I do, but I'm also a nerd. So when I play Magic the Gathering, I only play with a blue deck. Yeah, BK all day, bitches. Fuck your goblins. Fuck your drawers. It's all about water elementals, all right? <laughs> <laughs> These are pretty diverse jokes. I was like, that's kind of clever. But I had a Mexican <laughs> friend in high school. He loved playing Magic, too. And I was like, what's up? And he's like, I got a green deck. And I was still perplexed. And he said that way, he had a green card wherever he went. I love the way I was I can't laugh at that. That's so good. That's number four. Yeah, okay, that's number four. I get a five-star review. I get one more, right? But it's funny. Uh, I'm, I'm Asperger's. I'm a little slow of a nerd. And I remember me and my girlfriend were going to do lingerie and Legos for Valentine's Day. So we got a little lingerie on. We're having a little kissy time. Five minutes went by. I was like, where the fuck are the Legos? <laughs> and worse than that she had taken me to the drive-in right and uh, we watched the whole movie and the next day my buddy was like you know usually you get a little hand job four job something at the drive-in and so I called my girlfriend and I was like did I miss out on some sex time because like, I really wanted to see Spider-Man. He didn't tell me. Like, we should have watched something you were going to watch if we weren't going to watch the movie. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. You said we were going to watch the movie. And then I thought <laughs> back, and I was like, I've never got a hand job, blow job, or anything in the movie theaters. I don't watch thousands of movies. I think I've been messing up this whole time. What the fuck, right? Shit. <laughs> and it's even funnier because, like, for me, 
I'm in new love, right? And she told me that shit the other day. She was like, I hate how much I fucking love you. <laughs> this doesn't even fucking make sense. <laughs> then I found myself passing out in the middle of ballet on a Saturday, and I was thinking to myself, I hate how much I fucking love you too, shit, right? <laughs> but uh, I used to be married. I had that usual son-in-law, mother-in-law relationship, you know, where she hates you and you hate her. But then I found a common ground. She likes spirit animals. So I told her she's the new one. It's a hybrid, part cheetah, part puma. Yeah, I told her she's a puta. Oh. <laughs> Was reading something else. Puta. I speak Spanish. I translate that in South Carolina. <laughs> they didn't know if I was a Filipino or Mexican, but I speak in Spanish. I know what's up, right? <laughs> but I'll end kind of on a dark joke. Uh, I got two more. I'll end on these two. Um, I feel like when life's going bad, people always say anecdotal shit to cheer you up. Like just because you have all your arms and legs doesn't mean life's going good. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. But I remember when my mom passed away, everybody wanted to cheer me up. They're like, you should get maybe like a little necklace, right? Or earrings. Or maybe you could get even like a little pendant made out of ashes. That way you'll always have something on you to remind you. And I was like, oh, that's sweet. You mean like these cigarette burn scars? <laughs> That's number five, Ira. <laughs> and she spit out this time, right? <laughs> Best part is, is uh, there's a tobacco usage history with these. It's on the right hand here. See that? That's a Virginia slip. And then later, I'm sorry, I fucked that up. On the right hand there, that's a Salem. That's a full menthol cigarette. And later, my mom became a classy lady. So on the left hand there, that's a Virginia slip. And don't worry. If this joke's too dark for you, I did get my revenge. Because when the bitch died, I had her cremated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's the ass right now? <laughs> I think I got the better burn out of that one shit. <laughs> Best part is, first time I told that joke live, there was a guy in the front row. He laughed, he cried, he rubbed the scar on his forehead, and he was like, I missed that. You can let it out, Ira, it's okay. <laughs> but I'll end on this. Uh, I go by Suitman Productions, right? I do a show called Deaf Comedy Jam. Have you ever heard of Deaf Comedy Jam? Make some noise. Yeah. I don't think you guys are actually hearing me. Mine's D-E-A-F. We translate comedy for a deaf audience. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that part. Um, I got trolled for doing the show. Yeah, by the deaf community. And my response was simple. I was like, I'm half deaf. And they're like, what? That's not deaf enough. And I was like, bitch, I'm mixed. I've been proving how black and white I am. I'm not proving how deaf I am either, right? But that's not the fucked up part. The fucked up part is when I was a kid, I got diagnosed Asperger's. My mom's response wasn't the best. She's like, so you're calling him a retard. They're like, ma'am, you can't call them that. And I looked at the doctor. I was like, yeah, but she still calls me nigga, though. <laughs> That's called a callback, everybody. My name is Dante Barda. I'm with Suitman Productions. Thank you for having me. You guys have a wonderful Sunday. Give it up for Kelly. Zemanike! <laughs> <laughs>